Hello, welcome back to Brandon Sushi Live Noting. Um, in this episode, I'm gonna give you like a quick impromptu demo of this uh, kind of like a setup that I did using the iPhone X or the iPhone 10 and Blender. So basically, everything you see here is uh, actually real time. And so this guy, um, the head is actually, uh, I source it from a book called Stop Staring. For it's a it's a book for for Maya, uh, but yeah, it's easily applicable for Blender. And I've been use, uh, studying a lot of facial rigging for a while, but I, I haven't really like seriously back to it until um, until today. Um, and with the with the iPhone X, basically you are able to scan like anyone face uh, like your face using the phone and then you just transfer it to whatever uh, you create like for example you can create an app and but in this case I'm really doing it in real time using blender um, this is like um, the the actual um, the head itself currently it doesn't actually use all the coefficient blend shapes that's uh, provided by the iPhone 10, but it's pretty good and it, it gives a lot of um, kind of a facial, just the basic facial details. Like I can do like a blink. Uh, blink is actually working really well. So if I can also play with my uh, forehead there, the nose, and sneer and smile or like mm, angry face like that. So that that's kind of worked really well. Currently, um, I'll explain what's actually going on. So I'm gonna go back to compositing, and you'll see the whole setup. I'm actually using um, a little bit of animation notes in the background for the metric stuff. It's actually um, not that complicated, and I, I like the idea of having one app being able to talk to with another app. It's not normal. It's not something that's uh, easily be done if unless you are using uh, like Blender, uh, because Blender is open source. It's kind of Kind of easy if you want to set up like uh, this kind of uh, uh, OSC kind of setup. So uh, I'll put the iPhone to the side. What's cool I found is that with the iPhone 10, you can actually go around here and kind of rotating, and then yeah, I think the the head is being tracked in 360 degree. I don't know. If, I think that can be useful at some point. Okay, so um, I'll put the iPhone to the side here. So I just keep uh, talking uh, with the iPhone looking at me from the side so uh, as you already can tell this is like a this is a normal head with a shape keys blend shapes and uh, all you can see this is uh, for this head I have around 30 around 30 uh, facial shape keys in blender and currently I'm still I'm working on character head that I can kind of transfer and create an app for but that will that might take a while so I'm thinking instead of um, uh, making an app I'm actually making an app um, some kind of app that's kind of transferring my face um, expression uh, using the OSC uh, OSC so you might have seen my older video where I'm doing like a a similar thing but I'm using the webcam and face OSE app that's kind of like the old school way it's, it's kind of like a 2d this one is actually 3d it's tracking completely tracking my head in 3d and so and the value is all happening in real time uh, I'll show you real quick the the OSC setup so while this head uh, continue tracking my face so I have this add OSC add-on running in the background and this is actually um, listening to all the OSC message coming in through the network into Blender um, so yeah I have uh, quite a bunch of the OSC message coming in and they are all kind of being hooked into the shape keys of this uh, uh, Blender head so this character it's not like uh, maybe it's only using like a 50% of all the blend shape coefficients but I think it's doing it pretty well I can also use the the raw points from the iPhone 10 but I think this is a good start um, like um, 
so we have a bunch of them like uh, no sneer lips upper upright and then all brows shapes all this uh, OSC message I, I I haven't used like 100 but I think this is like around 40 or 40 yeah I think it's around for 40 OSC message the one that I found tricky is actually the matrix uh, uh, there is something called like the scene matrix um, in a in the scene kit in the in the X code, I'm I don't understand it co exactly. Currently, the head. If I'm doing it like a, if I'm doing something weird like a tilting my head, you see the head is becoming kind of squeezed. So I think I did something wrong with the scene matrix. Um. So. So basically, the this app, I I don't know if I ever gonna release it as open source or I will sell it on the app store. This app allows you to transfer whatever um, the iPhone 10 is looking like your face and then transferring all the blend coefficient into your computer in the network using the OSC, um, um, the controller, uh, open sound controller, OSC. So yeah, this, uh, this matrix thing is kind of confusing for me. This is a 4x4 or 16 values representing the matrix in the, in the Apple scene kit. And I need to, I think I need to kind of fix this this part. Currently, it's doing something, um, but it's not exactly correct. I, I don't know. So I try to fix it, you know, like, um, but still not correct. Not correct. Uh, if I try to hook this up like that, so currently um, the head is kind of following my face orientations but not it's not exactly so if I manage to fix this part or if, if you know anyone or if you know um, how to translate um, Xcode's matrix 16 uh, 4x4 into blender matrix please uh, help me uh, in this area once I got that maybe I can release this um, OSC uh, for you and it's actually pretty simple once again so in a normal situations you as you as a blender uh, you as a 3d artist using blender or other 3d package you create like a 3d assets and then you export it in uh, into scene kit or you bring it into unity or unreal engine and then you create an app for an iPhone and then you look you you run the app and then and then you're gonna see like a talking heads. That's kind of the the basics uh, function, just like the animojis um, demo. Um, in this case, what I'm doing is actually making an app that's uh, running on the iPhone 10, and then the app actually sending message back into the computer. So this is similar to another app called Touch OSC. So this is more like a general usage um, kind of app, and this is not actually not as complicated as I thought because it's simply um, I'm using like a module um, that does this OSC kind of uh, message sending and since Blender already have the add-on that's kind of listening to the OSC so this is kind of like a pretty straightforward um, if you know a little bit of coding this is actually something that you can create yourself I'm hoping that I can uh, actually have like an app this really simple app that's allow you to transfer just any message um, from from your the, the iPhone 10 into back into computer for for you to use inside blender and and ideally we should be able to actually record it on the on the iPhone itself or kind of bake the animations in real time using blender and then Whenever, uh, so whenever you are doing, for example, kind of animation that uh, requires this kind of uh, like talking heads, then this this kind of stuff will be very easy to create in in near future. Like even right now, I am still testing whether. Uh, so of course, for every talking head, you need to to have enough uh, blend shapes or shape keys in order for this to work. Um, so currently I have this less, I think that 50% facial expression. It doesn't follow my lips exactly, but it seems pretty good. 
and the head orientation I still need to fix it because I don't understand the matrix 4x4 exactly how uh, I think I think the one being used on Xcode is not exactly the ones uh, being used in Blender uh, maybe there is like a XYZ or orientation differences I don't know but well anyway this I think this uh, iPhone 10 is very cool I think it's uh, the I really like this uh, prime sense camera that's basically detecting the face I found it really really useful and I wanted to use this kind of thing uh, in blenders you know like if you can do this inside blender you can easily create talking heads and then you can bring it back as an app uh, for iPhone that you can sell or you know uh, whatever you can create a lot of things um, just using this uh, this feature so yeah hopefully you enjoy this one uh, it's still a demo I I, I don't know I, what do you think should I release this as open source or I should sell it because uh, I don't know we'll see because there's a lot of uh, functions and application for this kind of um, feature you know I found it really cool um, so yeah that's pretty much it for this live noting um, let me know what you think um, if you have any question just ask me uh, in the comment section below and thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.